Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping on my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you've been placing on me um, and just being able to send you know, loving and um, comforting vibes as I sent it back out to you as well. It's truly a blessing. As soon as I said that, I got chills. Oh, yes, but thank you for uh, doing that for me. With all being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, they are truly needing um, validation or confirmation towards their life path or even their soul purpose. Please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today um, I'm using uh, the background uh, meditation music I'm using. is called Greatest Buddha Music of All Time. Buddhism Music. Uh, is I think it's the Har Harney the Harney uh, mantra for Buddhist sounds of Buddha. So I'll play, place that link in the description box below. It's so enchanting. I always like those little those little noises, and it sounds like the little things they use in the like in the Asian um, music as well. Um, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101: using your energy to believe in what you you have been manifesting instead of wasting it on times. Uh, wasting it on worries and it is so true you know us being in the human form we tend to do that you know um, like if things are not going right you even though you keep on pushing out love and light being positive having a positive mindset even when there's times of being hard you know because a lot of times we tend to uh, you know get irritable and get stressed out about certain things when they're not going exactly how we had planned them and knowing you're working hard towards something manifesting into your life and those are the times where I you know I even look at every number that I have you know that mirrors each other like okay what is the angels trying to tell me because I know there will be certain things that's going on in my life and you know I want to have, keep on having that positive mindset and leave it on focused on the things I'm working really hard for and there's times you know when things will pop up and it's not going right you know we tend to you know think about stuff like that was well, being a hey because we don't know how to just let it go <laughs> you know we tend to want to focus on it, investigate it see why does it got to be that way but it's just like you have to be able to stay focused on the things that you are manifesting in your life I have I have so much energy a lot of us are going through that right now and it's like since the the heightened <laughs> my, my gifts it's like everything is coming towards me and I'm really you know, I have to put a spell up on myself, a protection spell, but, you know, I just have to release it at times when, you know, I'm trying to get that, that, that energy towards me with the universe and source wants me to be able to talk about to you, to bring your attention to be able to be like, you know what, this is something I really need to hear today. You know, you're working on something that you truly want in life that is going to give you prosperity and abundance you know but there's times we have to be able to be able to take the bitter with the sweet you know everything has a balance to it you know we if we're gonna have a good day there's times we're gonna have bad days but you should never lose focus on the things that you're manifesting you know if we sit up here and put our mindset on the things that we can't change that's when we add more you know negative vibes towards ourselves that's why when I feel myself getting in that negative vibe I say okay well let me do something that you know converts my mind over on something positive you know you can't change on certain things only thing you can change is things how you respond to it and how you um, you deal with it you know how you accept it and stuff like that and there's a lot of times where you just have to you know step aside and just work on you put some meditation music on do things that make you happy you know that brings your your frequency up to a high standard you know because there's a lot of times we'll we'll go through stuff like I tell you darkness will do that especially when you're on the brink of 
you know, having that blessing, then the littlest things will start pissing you off. <laughs> you know, be like, God, dog, stuff like this thing used to get to me. But it's just like when you've been working so hard on things and you see the signs, you get the visions, you get the dreams that's, you know, telling you what you need to pay attention to, what you need to let go of, what do you need to enhance more towards your life. Those are the things we have to, you know, what we have to guide through. And being able to know, you know, don't put your, you know, your life on things that you cannot change, especially when it comes to people. You know, I, I look at my situation and there's just like, you know, you, you, you have to just do you at times you know if you can help somebody i love to help you know there's so many people that i've been doing one-on-ones with and it makes me feel so good to be able to reassure them hey things are coming up you know for you these are the things that you need to pay attention to you know things are converting over and it's just like you know we, we've been dealing with so many shifts the last few weeks and it's just like since this year started like we went through a lot of hell last year but it's like this year you're going to you might go through some things but it's going to enlighten you in different ways you just have to look at it you know from a positive perspective and see the things that are coming forth towards your life in a positive way cuz a lot of times like I told y'all when negative energy comes up it, all it is is a distraction is keeping your mind off of the things you truly want in your life because you can't keep saying I don't want this to happen I don't want you can't do that <laughs> you all you got to do is just say you know when things like that happen I want to work more towards this you know I'm telling you know you speaking this upon yourself as well as the universe because with us being in human form we tend to do human things you know going through all these things I'll be telling myself Lord please don't let me get reincarnated again because if I got to go through this one more time, <laughs> you know, you're trying to get it this time because you don't want them so many daggone times. You're like, oh, I finally got it. Like, dang, slow ass. <laughs> it took you long enough. <laughs> so you go through all these different things and you have to be able to face and project and keep your mind mindset on positive things how what is going to make you grow where is going to make you stand out more than you've ever stood out before what things are you working towards where do you want to enhance things in your life you know what what can i do to change my environment you know those things we have to be able to work on in on ourselves because we want to be able to change the world so bad and who who does it well there's a lot of people that like it like that like the uproar and chaos i don't but only way we can be able to fix those things is if we do the inner work with ourselves. Because, you know, you want to be loved, you have to be able to love yourself. You want to be happy, you want somebody to make you happy, you have to be that one to make yourself happy first. So you're working on these things to be able to improve yourself. You know, when you need those signs to say, you know, am I doing a good job? Um, am I putting in enough? You know, if you're working on yourself, you know if you're working on yourself. You know when you're working on yourself and there's negative things coming towards you, that's because you're working on yourself. And it's just all about how you, you know, uh, handle things. What do you, how do you react to it? How are you projecting towards it? You know, you, you can't, you know, you can help others and, you know, like, hey, you need to fix this and this and that. They want to cop an attitude about it. Hey, I'm just letting you know. Like, I tell people I love your feedback, but it's just like, you know, I, I like corrective criticism. I like it when I'm challenged. But it's like when somebody tries to control things about me, I'm just like, you know, I appreciate that. But it just sounds like you're trying to control me. You know, there's different things. It's like, hey, I need you to do this or, hey, I need you to do that, especially when it comes to my channel. You know, I always want to bring more bigger and better things towards the channel, you know, being able to show y'all different sides, me, my vulnerable side, as well as my uplifting silly side to my serious side. You know, I want to be able to show all those things. There's a lot of times that the universe wants me to be vulnerable like they did that yet the other day. They wanted me to be able to sum it all up because there was a lot of people that are just now starting to uh, subscribe towards me and they don't know all that stuff about me because a lot of people when they you know they're pulling up like kundalini or uh Hayoka empaths or you know ascensions and stuff like that because i leave those all in the tags they're just looking at those videos but they don't see why i start doing my videos and it's just a blessing to me for me to be able to go through all these different things even though they're you know it's still a thorn in my side about trying to wonder what happened to my dad, you know, who is going to be held responsible, what is the bigger picture, you know, I have to be able to have faith in the universe that I will sooner or later get the answer I truly deserve, you know, and it was just like, 
they wanted me to be able to tell you these things, you know, being able to let you know, even though we have been handed such a a hard stick, they have to be able to, I'm trying not to use the S word, but you know what I'm saying, the short stick, let me just put it that way, of messed up things that happen in our lives you know we tend to pick these things for these to occur in our life before we even got here for us to be able to make that positive impact so the rest of the future generation does not have to go through these pain and situations to be able to cut those uh those karmic cycles as well as the generational curses and stuff like that so this is the reason why i tell people the situation you have or you are dealing with is that one that's gonna break it you know because it's like you have been you've been handed such a challenging situation where sometimes it feels like this is not gonna be over but you're gonna be the one who's gonna end that you have to be able to really truly see it for what it is because it's just like I mean, it's like post <laughs> your life is like Armageddon right now. And those are the things that's going to help you. Yes, there'll be days you want to give up. Yes, you, you feel like life is so unfair. Why does it feel like when I'm the positive one, it seems like all the negative folks tend to get the things that they want and I got to wait on everything. It's like usually when we have to wait on stuff like this, that we want blessings to come forth in our lives that enrich us in so many different ways that's the reason why the universe the universe sees all the hard work you're doing they see how is there sometimes when you want to be upset and want to whip somebody's behind for the things that they bring towards you and it's just like you're being that positive one you're being that one that's going out your way to help people and this is the pain payment i get but you're actually going to get payment even though you know there there has to be a balance towards everything like i said but you have to also realize the things that you're truly wanting in your life, God's manifesting towards 10 times fold of what you actually, you know, ask for. Because they see all the hard work. They see the pain and the sorrow you constantly going through, even though you're still trying to keep a positive mindset towards the things you want in your life. So, you know, when you get it, it's going to be magnetized, mag magnified times two multiplied. You know, it, it's just... It's just going to be bigger than you ever realized. So that's the reason why you go through so much hell. Because God and universe is looking at this person like you are that person that's going to break that, that curse that goes along this family line. You're going to be that one that severs all this stuff. So yes, you got to go through the hardest of the heart when you feel like I can't go no more. I can't, you know, I'm stopping. If you notice, a lot of people where we feel like they're happy, especially when it comes to celebrities and stuff like that and they're killing themselves off like dag i wish i had that kind of sorrow you don't know what them people deal with behind closed doors you know and that's why you know i'm just like oh gosh i hope and pray that even though they they shorten their lives and this is not what something they were supposed to do but you know things like this happen at times where they can't handle it you know they're going through a lot of stuff and they feel like they can't handle it so they end their lives or sometimes they're contracted like that to where they were like oh they only supposed to be here for a short period of time and use it as an example so when you go through all the things you go through knowing there's a bigger picture behind everything you go through and knowing you need to keep your mind focused on the things that you're manifesting other than the problems the trauma and the drama that you got going on in your life because it's like a lot of things it's like the, those dark things right there is just trying to put you towards the test of the distraction a lot of times universe god and them you know they place things in there just to see are they going to still keep working towards the things that they truly want in their life or are they going to get in you know engaged towards the things that are very irrelevant you know there's a lot of times we have to be able to overlook them things like you know what you stay in your corner doing that little crazy stuff that you're doing while i'm over here working on me well, I'm doing better things. I have to tell myself that don't allow these ignorant things to pop up in your life and ruin it for the things that you got blessings in because there's a lot of blessings that are coming towards your life that nobody is not going to stop. When it's time, it's going to be time. You know, there's a lot of time people throw that speed bump in your way because they see what's about to magnify towards your life and they don't want that for you. So, but if you know you're still working on that and pray for folks that do that, you know, I have people at me like that all the time. You know, trying to make sure I don't get what I deserve. I'm not going to be worried about them. i be worried about doing what I need to do. Because <laughs> when God say yes, the hell with everybody else. They can say whatever they want. But when God says yes, the universe says yes. Prepare yourself for that breakthrough. So I hope you were able to resonate with this. I hope, you know, I know there are some people that are really going through this right now. And they needed that confirmation. You know, because there's a lot of times 
we go through things and you feel like the universe is not hearing you god is not hearing you trust me i, I believe you know i was like that at that point in time too but um i am going to give a post notification shout out to uh miss journey um and who else uh gabriel and lost puppy as well so i will take y'all i may talk to y'all on my next video like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed your beautiful sunday i had to take off and you know deal with my family because my daughter came down for the weekend so i was enjoying that time with her but um i will see you on my next video so that was much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever love and knowing there are better days coming towards you much love peace be wild Remember, like and subscribe, drop in line to let me know you resonate. Give me a thumbs up and share. And make sure you, you know, hit that notification button so you know when my next video comes out. Peace.